evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the announcement of the government of the Republic of Western Armenia, the adoption of the resolution on the Armenian captives by the European Parliament is a proof of the universal significance of the problem. Airstrikes in the directions of Batman and Chernak military bases. Zakharova. Moscow supports early organization of UNESCO mission to Artsakh and adjacent territories. Sanction of the situation in Afrin. 14 Turkish militants killed. Nature wonders of Western Armenia. Van Travertines. Wildfires in Dersim province of Western Armenia. Architecture between two worlds and two eras. Armenian religious buildings of the 4th to 5th centuries lecture. The acting Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan announced on May 20 that he will be ready to sign a document with Azerbaijan on border demarcation. Any document that doesn't consider Artsakh's territorial integrity in Armenia is against the international law, Armenian people, its history and aspirations for its future. The government of Western Armenia further declares invalid any document or action signed by the acting Prime Minister of the Republic of Armenia or another representative of the Republic that won't consider Armenia's situation in 1920 of the 92nd Article of the Treaty of Severs, based on the Constitution of the Republic of Armenia and won't condemn the crimes against humanity and the military crimes committed by Azerbaijan against the Armenian people. The government of Western Armenia reminds that it will make all the necessary decisions and measures in order to protect the right of existence of the people living in the Republic of Armenia and Artsakh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Speaker of the Government. The adoption by the European Parliament of the resolution on the Armenian captives by an overwhelming majority is proof of the universal significance of the problem. It is a proof of the humanitarian significance of the issue. The Armenian Embassy in Belgium reports, we thank the European Parliament for being by our side in raising this humanitarian issue. We hope that our joint work will contribute to the immediate release of all captives and their safe return to the homeland to be reunited with their families, the Embassy said in a statement. Let us remind that the previous day the European Parliament adopted a resolution obliging Azerbaijan to release Armenian prisoners of war and captive civilians without any preconditions. An airstrike was carried out on a military base located in Batman, Republic of Turkey. At the same time, an airstrike was launched against a division stationed in Chernak. Three explosions took place overnight in the area of the airport in Batman, where the bases of unmade aerial vehicles are located. Shots were fired in the area after the explosions and a large number of ambulances and armored vehicles were sent. At the same time, the command of the 23rd Gendarmerie Border Division of Chernak was attacked by air. The Minister of Defense of the Republic of Turkey announced. The topic of preservation of historical and cultural heritage in Artsakh and adjacent regions is always discussed in our contacts, both with official Baku and official Yerevan. The official representative of the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Maria Zakharova, mentioned this at the May 21 briefing. The topic was particularly touched upon in the first half of May during the working visit of Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov to Armenia and Azerbaijan. We are for the immediate organization of a UNESCO mission in the region. We are also working on the OSC Miss Group Cultures, she said. The Afrin Liberation Forces have announced the destruction of 11 pro-Turkish militants and free Turkish soldiers in the territory of Afrin. The statement of the Afrin Liberation Forces reads, Our armed forces have carried out a large-scale offensive action against Turkish occupation forces in the occupied Basufana village of Afrin on May 19. The action started at 11 a.m., as a result of which four Turkish mercenaries were killed and two escaped. Moreover, seven mercenaries and three Turkish soldiers were killed, who came to fight against the Afrin Liberation Forces. The natural formations attract attention with their equal appearance 35 kilometers away from Başkale province in Van, Western Armenia. These travertines, wonders of nature, abandoned as a result of security and transportation issues, hosted almost 20,000 tourists in the last years. Travertines appeared in the center of attention after being declared a specially protected area and also of their uniqueness. Now, in parallel with the warming of the weather and security control, they are open and ready to receive visitors. Let us remind that travertine is a type of mountain stone with pores. The wildfire started in the area of Yelan Mountain in Dersim, Western Armenia continues. No intervention has been made to extinguish the fire that has been spreading and growing for days. According to local sources, a forest fire broke out on the slopes of Mountain Yulan 
In the Chemish Kezek Hozwat Ovajik provinces and that the fire could spread further. The fire that broke out at the foot of Mount Yilan, which is a continuation of the Mosur Range, one of the most important natural areas in western Armenia, threatens the security of the region. Although the fire must be extinguished as soon as possible, the authorities have taken no steps so far. Nazani Garibyan, a senior researcher at Matenadaran, will deliver a lecture entitled Architecture Between Two Worlds and Two Eras. Armenian religious buildings of the 4th to 5th centuries on May 26 in the framework of Byzantine art history course at the Tusha University, Italy. Rachele Zenon, a researcher at Roma Tre University, will give a lecture on Armenian manuscripts of the 20th to 14th centuries in Vaspurakan. You can follow the lecture at the following link. Now I present you Of Hayos Kajer by Armenian Radio Orchestra. <laughs> The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.